Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. And we're in the carded room, and I have something new for you. But firstly, I was just looking at these Yodas here, and there are th uh, four in a row there. Two retro collections, both variants, and then the VOTC, and then of course the infamous, or famous, Canadian Yoda. Infamous with regards to second, secondary market price. And I've got another one to add there, I still haven't put it in a star case. Because I'll have to rejig everything, so I'm, you know, haven't um, opened that can of worms yet, but still I will do. But what I want to show you in this video is another variant, or should I say a full house now, of Akbar. Although it's not a full house because there are others to buy. But there it is, right there. A vintage 80s Akbar to go with all my others, and I'm going to give you a closer look at them. I'm going to take them out of the staircase, lay them, lay them all out on the table. And have a look at him, but I just funny in it. Funny in that I don't want to go for all the mocks, all the vintage eighties. I never thought I'd get any, to be honest with you. But um, certain ones just a prime to fill that gap. I think the next one I'm going to probably get would be Han, only because I've got a healthy row of him as well. Now look at this. What's this one? The tw that's the reissue one. Revenge, return, revenge. I don't know. What am I saying? That's Revenge, two returns, one of them is the Canadian. And then you've got the VOTC. All I need now is a vintage 80s <laughs> with the trench coat. And you know, with Akbar, you can get all sorts. You can get the, I think you can get, what do they call that? The tri-logo with that. And you can, you know, get the MIM maybe. But the, anyway, this is this one here. Really happy with it. I got it from Dark Side Alliance. And it's got one of these little Toys R Us stickers on there, really. I know that that is uh, something of interest for the Blacked Out Ewoks. He loves those. But anyway, what I'll do is I'll just get them all out so you can have a closer look at what the variants I have for TVC, but also a closer look at the condition of this classic here. Boom, join me. There you are. So that's why I went for it in the end, as I said. And like I explained for the Han, I had a healthy run as far as I was concerned. And... Um, Hmm. There is a potential other one you could get of this type, but we'll discuss that at the end. Really interesting. But, you know, I just thought, give, put an 80s one in the run, or in the in the row, and it'll uh, box it off. I've got loads of runs. I'm going to show you. Look at the wall at Ruby's. Got, look, look at that. All, that. all that was Akbar a minute ago. Like this guy here. And that is a quite a good one, that one. That's, I've got Tim to thank from Bosk's Bounty for that one. He tagged me in that. Because he knows I've got, well, he knew I had all the others, and then he sort of tagged me in that, and that was a, that was a real trigger pull of that one. But uh, sorry about the glare, but that's a 65 back Imperial Tie Fighter, really clear bubble as well, unpunched, good card condition, really nice. I don't have a vintage loot. There's not really that many. I could really, you know, I could, um, I could warrant one. That would go quite nicely. A vintage 80s loot there. Um, I have a few, as you know, B-Wing pilots, which go nicely with the run. What else do I have in terms of vintage 80s? Um, totally going off topic of Akbar here. We're going for a little roam. Oh yeah, and oh my God, of course, the Gamorrean Guard or Gamorrean Guard. This is a real complete run of pretty much everything you can get. The only thing I'm missing is stuff from yesteryear. I've got these two here, the MIM and the regular Hong Kong vintage 80s. And then I suppose I could get the Tri logo like that dude there, and potentially, apparently it's rare as hen's teeth, the Power of the Force one, that would be nice. But still, so there you go. I quite like the idea of, oh, what else do I have? Oh yeah, I've got quite a few wickets as well. That's what kind of inspired me to get the vintage 80s wicket there. Um, and as for Tebow, well actually, ironically, I got the Tebow first vintage 80s before that got released, but it's just because that's got a little bit of sentimental value. He's quite affordable as well. I used to have that as a kid, that's why it's sentimental. Also, really clear bubble as well. So, I've got quite a few vintage mocks now, but still, this is the Akbar. And here's the sticker, which is uh, really common, I'm told. Toys R Us. I wonder if this was in America or not. I don't remember there being Toys R Us here in the 80s in the UK. It might have been, not where I grew up. That came sort of like, it seemed to be like very late 80s, early 90s. Um, and there is the card back, beautiful. Clear bubble, I'd say, not too bad. I've seen a lot worse than that. And uh, what's really cool about this is the fact that the the um, 
whatever you call it, the pill colour and the back of the card colour, or the back of the blister colour, is that kind of turquoisey. It's not blue, is it? It's more turquoise. And that brings me to this one here. This is one of the rarest ones I have, I guess. There's not many of these you see swimming around the internet, but this is the TVC Akbar, like all of these are TVC. But this is one that caused a lot of discussion amongst some experts I know. We thought this was sun damaged. But then again, if it was sun damaged, the blister would be really yellow, which it's not. We think it's naturally faded one way or another. And it's, but it's ironic because I, we love it and I love it because it's more now reminiscent to, or now more reminiscent of this, if you know what I mean. Whereas all these others, uh, I hope the lighting is correct for you to tell, but they're all green, like a pure green, like, you know, as opposed to anything else. But the classic wasn't green, was it? Unless they've all faded as well. I think there was a, it was more of a bluey kind of a turquoise, which is a, you know, turquoise is a cross between green and blue. But it's a lovely car back. I'm glad to add it finally to my collection. It is unpunched, kind of. Um, you could probably press that flat, but I don't mess around with that. It's really secure. The bottom is really kind of like attached. That top bit is obviously loose. So it begs the question, was that on a peg like that? It was just lucky enough to not come loose at the... It obviously didn't come completely free. From the card back. Let's have a look on the back of the card then. This is classic, this isn't it? Starting on 61 there, going all the way down to. Brilliant, all 77 there. 77 back. Fantastic. I used to love that image as a kid. It just used to inspire you to want to get the lot, you know? Look at it, there he is. Yatat yeah, driver, get him done, Hasbro, in the modern vintage collection. Well, that's enough of the 80s, dude. Let's just go through all of these so you can see exactly what I have. So this one here, I've just put it on the end there because it's not as interesting as the others. That's the reissue from, I think, was it 2020 or 2021? They brought him back out, which was strange because he'd already been out in the vintage collection multiple times previously, as you know. And then also he was out in the Black Series as a reissue, kind of, a, you know, repacked or recarded re-released in the black series black and red line this one is the standard one what is the vc26 i can't even remember oh you mother Bruh. vc22 bear with me a minute. so this is this is the standard car back normal boba fett sticker and then obviously unpunched there as well this is the first one i ever got hold of no, I'm lying to you. I'm lying to you. I bought this as what I thought was an upgrade. But this turns out to be Ophelis, this one. I say an upgrade because I used to have that carded, but it was punched. So I sold it. I, flog I bought it and flogged it. And then I regretted flogging it because I used to love that sticker. I only ever really wanted, years ago, just one example of every character on card back. And I would just upgrade. And I would swap where I could unpunched cards. For, well punched ones I'd get rid of and get unpunched ones but here we go I got this actually only last year this one from another co collector and I realized I wanted to sort of get this one back again but the good thing about the back of this one is it shows you there there you go that's the um, Canadian Yoda it begs the question why there aren't more of them out there if it was released like that maybe only in Canada that's the issue <laughs> I guess so there's that and also on the back of this one which is obviously a later release it's got no Canadian Yoda on there. It's got the updated VC20 there. Right, so I'm just going to sit them there for now because I've got this horrible feeling they're going to fall off or something again. Hang on. Let's have a bit of a gamble here. Please don't fall off. Right, what's next? There you go. This is now the Revenge. Boba Fett sticker there. Let's see if this one has got the... Um, no, this has not got the Canadian Yoda on the back. So this is, again, a later one. And uh, Boba Fett blue sticker, which is the prototype Fett. So that's Revenge. I got this from America, I think last year at some point. And this is another Revenge I got quite recently, which is a Revenge Ophelous. So you see what I mean? I think the only one I've not got is potentially the one that came out on the SDCC. That goes for Leia as well. That goes for the B-Wing pilot, which is also an Ophelous card, although 
the Canadian ones of him don't have stuff in the bubble. So they're kind of offerless in a way. Or like the offerless, I, I should say. And then there's this one, which I'm really happy with that one, even though it's a weird condition. It still looks like the, can the Kenner one, doesn't it, though? But here's the question I have for you. What do you reckon? There could potentially be one more variant out there. This. Canadian. With the multi-language. Can you see it? Let me just go on in it there. Hang on. Let me just... There you go. See? Multi-language there. Surely the revenge of this must exist. Why not? Why wouldn't it? Unless they didn't, unless they didn't do it. I would be inter interested to know if that exists. Because, you know, you've got lots of examples of Canadian and uh, Canadian Revenge and Returns. There you go, there's a good example. There's the Return, Canadian for Leia, and the Revenge Canadian. Oh, there she is there, the Re Revenge Canadian. That one is way more common. I've seen more of them on, you know, eBay and places, but that was so glad to snag that. I got it on eBay, like, but you know what I mean? Interesting, you know, it all begs the question. No, it does do they exist? Somebody might have it out there. Maybe they made so few and people opened them and those examples do not exist anymore. I'm still on the hunt and I always look on eBay. I'm looking for the revenge of that. That'd be really cool. I'd love that. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's just been a bit of a waffle really. I'm just showing you what I have now for Akbar. I'm just really pleased to put this one in the row. Make a nice lineup. I'm gonna put them back on the wall now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, do Hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel for more. Tap the notification bell. Usually upload at 8 p.m. UK, but I really could end up uploading anytime. So why not tap the notification bell, even existing subscribers? Because, you know, then you will see the notifications come in. And that's about all I can say, really. Thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Oh, hang on a minute. No, no, no. That's the end of the video. That's a wrap. Oh, my God. Bruh. That's like a terrible dad joke, isn't it, man? I had, have I just spoiled the video with that? <laughs> Only one Kenobi. Only one.